Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is... Testing has kind of labelled this one as very hard because some of the concepts you need to understand are quite tricky. So this is a lockout line problem created by Virtual. Um, if you're not familiar with lockout lines, this one is going to be quite taxing. There's been a couple of other lockout line problems earlier in the series that you might want to have a uh, go of first. So um, the way lockout lines work is the digits in diamonds um, must be at least four apart and the digits that are on the lines between the diamonds have to be locked out of that. So they cannot be the digits in the diamonds or anything in between them. Um, so there'll be a link to below to where you can give this problem a shot. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a few seconds so you can pause the video and then I'm going to come back and try and explain how this one works. Okay, so <laughs> buckle in because I'm going to have to and hope I can pull this one off. So um, because of the way lockout lines work, there's some very, very heavy constraints with the longer lockout lines. Um, so what the first thing we need to look at for this one is thinking about fives. Five on a lockout line is always problematic. In fact, you can never put five on a line itself. It's not quite like German whispers, but the reasons are similar. If you put five on a lockout line, you've got to think about what can lock that out because um, you need to have digits that are four apart that are going to lock out those. So if you put a four um, on a lockout line to try and lock out the five, you have to go down from the four because if you go up, the five will be between. So if you go down from the four, you need to go four different and you hit zero, which doesn't work. If you start with the six, you need to go up four and you hit 10, which doesn't work. So you can never put five on a lockout line. So when you look at this top row, the five has to go in one of those two cells. And if you look at row two, you've got the same thing. The five has to go in one of those two cells, which are on the same lines. So this um, this line is actually runs here, um, and that is one line, and the five will run from end to end. Now, the only thing, because five has to be in one end of this line, the only digits that are five away or four away from five are one and nine. So these are going to be one, five, nine. And these two are also, because this is another line that bends through box two, these are also going to be one, five, nine. So you've already got that. Now, now we want to look at this line because this um, is an extension. This is basically a separate line that send, shares that um, diamond. Now, because this is four cells long, you cannot, the digits that are locked out, there is, must lock out four digits, which means these must be exactly four apart. If you made them any further apart, you wouldn't lock out enough digits. So if this is a one, this can only be five, because if I take it to a six, I would only lock out three digits, but I need to put four on the line. So if this is a one, this has to be a five. If this is a five, it has to be a one or a nine. And if this is a nine, it has to be a five. So it's either going to be one five or five nine. One nine will lock out no digits in this line would have to be zero in length. So if this is one five, this is going to lock out six, seven, eight, nine. If this is nine five, this is going to lock out one, two, three, four, and I cannot lock out one, two, three, four. So this cannot be nine five, this is one five, and this is locking out six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine are all high digits. And this is an important concept to realize for this. Because now we want to go back and look at these lines. Because they're all locking out, they're all going to be either 1, 5 or 5, 9 because of the placement of the 5s. These digits are all going to be either all low if they are 5, 9 or all high if they are 1, 5. So we can kind of color them. These are all going to be the same. And because you would we would run out of digits if we tried to make, if these were all high, we couldn't make these all high. If these were all low, we couldn't make them all low. These are going to have to be the opposite type of line. So whatever it is, um, let's use purple for now, um, this is going to be the opposite. But we've now discovered we've got a high digit here. And there are three highs or three lows. We don't know which, but one of these is high, one of these is low. So this means that we've now, whichever one of blue or green is high, we've already got the fourth one. So this cannot be a nine. This is a one or a five, giving us a one five pair. So we now know that this line here is a one five and the purple digits have to be locked out of one five and become six, seven, eight, nine, which means they are high. 
which means these green lines become low. I'm trying to do that now. These become low. Now, if these are low digits, then the thing that locks them out is 5, 9. And there is a 6, 7, 8, 9 in this column, which means this becomes the 5, this becomes the 1, this becomes the 5, this becomes the 9, the 1 looks down, making that the 5, and that is how you solve lockout line problem number 3 by virtual. This is tricky. If you are not familiar with lockout lines, this one is probably going to stump a lot of people. And every time I do a lockout line problem, there is like, I don't understand lockout lines. Yeah, I'm expecting that on this one. Um, good luck. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, this one is going to have uh, stumped a few people, I think. Hopefully it'll have taught a few people some lockout line tricks. I think lockout lines are an amazing constraint, um, and I don't think we see enough puzzles with them. Um, I, I think they are absolutely phenomenal, and the logic involved with them is great. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, I hope you're enjoying the channel and everything that's going on. And as always, good luck with your solving.